what do we have to do to make this thing rock, 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 Let's go, let's go to space. Hello everyone and welcome back to another installment of Fridays with Orbital Assembly. I am Tim Alatori, Chief Operating Officer, and today I am joined by Rhonda Stevenson, our CEO, and Dr. Tom Spoker, our Chief Technical Officer. Today is a little bit of a different format. We'll be making some announcements, but we will not be doing a Q&A session. But to start off with, I'm going to hand it over to Rhonda. Rhonda? Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. We have a couple of really exciting announcements that we wanted to share with our investors. As always, it's very important to us to share with you how important your investment is and, and how it impacts positively. And, and these announcements are an example of that. It's also come to our attention that there is a YouTuber making documentably false and misleading statements about orbital assembly. We're dedicated to truth and excellence, and we have a zero tolerance policy for any misleading or untruthful content about our company. And we have experts, professionals in their field that are taking care of it. And so with that, we're going to have Tom and Tim tell you what the exciting news is. <clears throat> Thank you, Rhonda. I am excited to be able to share with you this announcement. Uh, and if I get talking too fast, I apologize, Rhonda, because <laughs> I am excited. We're just excited. Um, I, I've, I've been wanting to talk about this for some time, and we finally have the ink dried on the paper, digital paper, and I'm able to talk about it. So we have been awarded a $1.7 million contract with the Department of Defense, uh, the AFRL division, to develop a rapidly deployed automated platform. And this has a number of applications from energy to communications, a number of different DOD uses. And uh, what this means is that we now have an opportunity to pursue increasingly more work from the Department of Defense since they're now a customer of ours. And this has some broad implications for not just our technology development, but also for you as an investor. Uh, we anticipate that this award will increase our valuation for the next and future raises. And uh, we couldn't be more excited. And I'm, I'm so proud of our team. This was a lot of work and a lot of uh, innovation, really, uh, to adapt our, our different technologies. So, And I think that one of the things that I would like to add to is a lot of times folks don't realize how long it takes to close these types of agreements. Yeah, I think we started this process well over a year ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's been a long time in the process. And in the process, we've made a number of relationships and built relationships with different uh, DOD contacts, which again, feeds forward into to more uh, and future work. So uh, with that, Tom, I'll pass it over to you for some other exciting announcements of some hardware related uh, news. Well, thank you, Tim. We've got some exciting demonstrations coming up in the near future. Uh, for one thing, we had been talking with uh, people about supplying us rocket engines and we're needing a rocket engine of a certain size, but nobody had one of that size. So we designed our own. I got busy with my calculations and designed the nozzle and uh, we're going to be testing very soon and demonstrating the cold gas thruster that uh, we're going to be using in it, the demonstrator version of what we're calling a propulsion module. Uh, we're busily assembling the uh, proposal or not proposal but solicitation for a, uh, a provisional patent on this propulsion module, it it will incorporate some things that have never been done with the propulsion system before, and we're very happy about the huge range of potential applications for that uh, propulsion module. Uh, once we get the propulsion module demonstrated and up and operating, we're going to be doing some demonstrations at Marshall Space Flight Center on on their what they call a flat floor. It's essentially an air bearing that allows you to do uh, operations with very, very low friction. And we're going to demonstrate the function of our propulsion module doing such things as rotating objects, putting a couple of these propulsion modules on an object and demonstrating that we can control them to get that object rotating and translating on this uh, flat floor. Uh, being able to get it rotating and translating and then stopping it from rotating and translating, demonstrating that we have the algorithms and the software to do that control. Um, 
we're really happy about being able to do that at Marshall Space Flight Center. And we're, we're really excited about being able to take this hardware that we've developed and demonstrate it there at Marshall. One of the things we'll be able to do with this propulsion module is test systems that we're going to be using in our larger uh, in-space systems, our actual flight habitation systems like the Pioneer and the Voyager space stations. We're going to need control of the rotation, including the balance of the rotating system, the rotating stations. And so we need to test our ability to rotate something and dynamically change the balance of that system, the mass distribution of the system, so that we can maintain the proper balance to uh, do rotation without wobbling. And so we'll be able to test that on the flat floor using these propulsion modules, uh, get the system rotating, and then using the algorithms that we'll have on the software in our control computers, be able to do the mass shifts that we need to do to maintain the balance of that system. We're also looking at the potential in the future of doing an orbital demonstration of rotation control. So an actual in-space uh, demonstration of this rotation control and the algorithms that allow us to do that with these propulsion modules. Thanks, Tom, for sharing that. I am also very excited about our demonstrations. Uh, we, you and I both love working with hardware. D-Star was a blast, you know, working with all that steel, and, and I'm excited to have aluminum back in our hands and doing tests on, on the test floor at NASA. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we're not doing it alone. We have a number of partners and vendors that we are working with on these tests. And, uh, you know, I think one of the interesting things, too, Tom, we ran into this kind of a scheduling issue with our coal gas thrusters where we couldn't get the component we needed in the time frame we needed. And with your expertise and your experience, you know, you just said, no problem, I'll design my own coal gas thruster. And I think that just speaks so, you know, highly to our team and the competency of, of our entire engineering and design team, but uh, especially, you know, individuals like yourself, Tom, who have years and years of flight heritage, uh, successful missions of space and just know how to solve problems. So uh, glad to have you as part of the team. And uh, we have an extensive list of people that are, you know, part of our team, which we've listed on our, our pitch deck and our website. And uh, there's many more that aren't named there. And we're just very grateful for all their involvement and support, not only for these tests, but also as we go to space, right? I mean, they're going to be with us for the, the long haul. So uh, that takes us to timeline. I think, Rhonda, we're going to talk a little bit about that. And uh, we are moving forward with these uh, artificial gravity tests, but as anybody who's been following closely knows, artificial gravity isn't going to be the first mission. That'll be an add-on to the Station in a Box Phase One Pioneer Station. So our first mission is a microgravity, uh, very large station, but uh, we are still working on starting construction on that flight hardware. And so to that end, we are still in capital raise mode. Uh, the DOD contract is fantastic, but we need uh, more capital. And so we will be uh, launching another Reg CF raise very shortly. And this is something that we've been working on for some time. It's with a different uh, platform, which gives us a lot more independence and flexibility. So we're going to be a little bit more selective on who is able to invest in this Reg CF raise. But also, we have some more tools at our disposal. So we're now going to be using our own transfer agent, which means that we will be able to communicate with you directly. With our previous platform, there was a firewall between us and you, and it was really hard for us to get your contact information and, and communicate with you. And lack of communication is frustrating for everybody, for you, for us. So now we'll be able to, to be better enabled to communicate with you. And also, uh, for our investors who've been with us from the beginning, for those who invested in our first two raises, we're going to have some really exciting incentives and bonuses for you to participate in this next raise. And I think uh, you'll be pleased with them, hopefully. Uh, we're excited about them. And it's just another part of us, you know, we're, we're here for you and, and trying to, to do our part to support uh, you and, and show our appreciation for your support of us. And uh, as I mentioned earlier with the DOD contract, uh, the feedback we're getting is our valuation will be going up in this next raise. So if you got in on one of the prior raises, congratulations. Uh, and uh, we're, we're excited for, for that in, in, increasing valuation again. Uh, so with that, um, just looking at our notes here, Ron, I think I covered all my stuff, so I'll, I'll pass it back to you for, 
for closing thoughts. I, I, I think you did. And, and thank you, Tim. And thank you, Tom. And, and thank you for your continuing ingenuity and innovation and, and, and all the good things that you do for uh, Orbital Assembly. And um, and for, again, <laughs> and, and again, for all of our investors, we, we, we try to convey our, our gratitude and our appreciation um, and to also be very inclusive in our uh, culture of saying, you, you are a part of this. You are participating in this. And, um, and that, that includes the incremental steps that we're taking to get there. You know, going from automated platforms to pressure vessels scaling to habitable uh, platforms on orbit. You are all a part of that. And uh, we, we couldn't appreciate you more. So thank you. Thanks, Rhonda. That's a good thought to end on. And unfortunately, we're not going to be taking questions today. But if you have questions you'd like to ask us, feel free to reach out to us uh, through other channels, uh, social media or our email or website, and uh, we'll, we'll respond as, as we're able. So with that, we look forward to seeing you next time. And thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Thank everybody. You, everyone. Ad Astra.